Everyone who lives in Rochester has heard of the Xerox Corporation, the company that created the very first successful commercial photocopier in 1959. However, what many people don't know about is Xerox's rich history of innovation and fields beyond photocopying. Xerox has been a global leader in shaping the way we view and share information, including such breakthroughs as bitmap graphics and the Ethernet. Xerox researchers are some of today's most creative inventors, generating over 1,000 U.S. patents each year. As remarkable as that is, I think Xerox's most impressive achievement is how they have given back to Rochester community through charitable grants from the Xerox Foundation. Today, I get to speak with Alyssa Nesbitt, the manager of community relations for the Xerox Foundation to learn more about their important work and its impact on our community. I attended YWCP's ninth grade summer bridge program at RIT this summer, a program that the Xerox Foundation helped to fund. What do you hope that community investments like this will achieve? Long before corporate philanthropy and citizenship was, was the cool thing to do and the right thing to do, it was always the right thing to do at Xerox. Much of our corporate philanthropy is focused on education because we believe, and I'm sure you've heard, education is the great equalizer. We are very selective and we chose you because we knew of the potential that YWCP has. We know that when we sponsor Summer Bridge that we are creating a wonderful environment for a number of girls to get ready and get prepared to go to YWCP. Xerox is led by Ursula Burns, who is currently ranked number 34 on Forbes' list of the world's most powerful women. How does her leadership inspire and promote women and minorities pursuing careers in science and technology? Ursula walks the walk. She is at a lot of our educational events. She's at a lot of community events, and she really, really cares. She is always asking of us to give our best and challenging us to overcome any obstacles that we may face. How do you think young women like me and my sisters at YWCP can rise up and make a difference in our community? I think there are a lot of things that you can do, and it doesn't have to be a grand gesture. I think that the little things mean a lot, and little moments add up to big moments. So I would suggest that at every turn, if you can lend a hand, help someone, I think that that will really make a big impact. We are fortunate to have Xerox and the Xerox Foundation in our community to inspire and promote women to become scientists, innovators, and global leaders. They are investing in the future workforce and helping girls like me rise up to become the next Ursula Burns.